Number four, sleep well. It's very easy for parents of kids playing sports to ignore this because there's only so many hours in a day. And they also have homework, family chores, obligations, etc. They're so worried and stressed out about keeping up their studies and giving their all to their sport, they often have trouble sleeping or cut it short to find some time in the day. Kids need to wind down at night and have a regularly scheduled bedtime. Number five. Acceptance among peers. This is a biggie. While you can't make all of your kids' teammates like him, you can check in to find out how well he's fitting in with his team or his group. Some coaches pit players against each other, but studies show that everyone does better when there's team harmony. This is especially important when working with girls' teams. Bullying. This is also very prevalent in youth sports and there should be a no tolerance policy on your kid's team. It's a big reason why kids quit sports. Number six, respect their opinion. Just because you played or know something about your kid's sport does not mean that you know the best way to help him become a better player. You are not your kid, you know? You know you're on the wrong track with helping your kid when you think to yourself, well, it worked for me. In my free ebook, The Ten Commandments for a Great Sports Parent, I teach parents a number of effective ways to give advice. And it starts with asking if they even want your advice and respecting a no answer if that's what they give you. And if you go past that, you're only hurting your relationship and ultimately his or her confidence and performance. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.